This is very strange. Six galaxies in the early universe have been found by researchers and they are so incredibly enormous that they question our fundamental conception of the world. It is not supposed to be possible for these old galaxies to exist. The primordial galaxies were formed about 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, but they are almost as massive as the present Milky Way in terms of mass, with masses that are close to 100 billion times that of the Sun. There is a problem somewhere. How did these six galaxies become possibly too massive for their age? How did they get to be so big so fast? By devouring other galaxies? Will our galaxy be the next? Let's find out. Since it began operations, JWST, the Hubble Space Telescope's replacement, has completely altered how we perceive the universe. Many people were aware that the Hubble Space Telescope was not giving us the complete picture. Not at all. The universe's expansion causes the ultraviolet and visible light emitted by the initial stars and galaxies to be stretched out as it moves towards us, turning it into infrared light by the time it reaches us. JWST was created for this purpose, to determine Hubble's blind spots. Among other astounding discoveries, JWST has revealed the earliest galaxies that humans have ever observed. Now, the cutting-edge new telescope has dropped yet another cosmic bombshell by catching a glimpse of these six mysterious galaxies that predated the universe by more than 13 billion years. The research uses information from the infrared sensing sensors on the James Webb Space Telescope to create images of the cosmos 13.5 billion years ago when it was only 3% as old as it is now. The potential galaxies were somehow as developed as our 13 billion year old Milky Way galaxy just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Each of these things contains a mass of stars that is many billion times more than the mass of the Sun. One of them, in particular, could have a mass that is up to 100 billion times that of our Sun. Compared to that, the Milky Way has a mass of stars that is comparable to about 60 billion suns. These things are much larger than anyone anticipated. At this period, scientists anticipated only finding tiny newborn baby galaxies, but instead, we have found galaxies that are just as developed as our own in what was formerly thought to be the universe's infancy. According to Erica Nelson, an astronomer at the University of Colorado Boulder, Nothing should have had enough time to create something that is as densely packed with stars as the Milky Way so quickly. Only tiny, young galaxies were anticipated to be discovered at this early stage of the universe's history. So how did these monsters manage to fast-track to maturity? These wouldn't be the first oldest galaxies that JWST discovered. Four galaxies that are roughly 350 million years old were discovered by scientists last year, although these were much smaller. It's absurd. It shouldn't have been possible for these galaxies to form. Before JWST's eyes were open to the universe, cosmologists had trouble understanding why huge galaxies had formed around a billion years after the Big Bang. Scientists would need to reassess either some fundamental cosmological principles or their knowledge of how the first galaxies were seeded from tiny clouds of dust and stars in order to explain the appearance of such enormous galaxies so early in the history of the universe. The majority of cosmological theories state that galaxies originate from tiny clouds of dust and stars that gradually grow in size. According to the legend, matter progressively came together in the early universe. But that doesn't explain the enormous size of the recently discovered objects. The revelation that massive galaxy formation began extremely early in the history of the universe upends what many of us had thought was settled science, says Joel Leyer, an astronomer and astrophysicist at Penn State and a co-author of the study, in a statement. We've been informally calling these objects universe breakers and they have been living up to their name so far. 
It turns out we found something so unexpected it actually creates problems for science. It calls the whole picture of early galaxy formation into question, says Leia. According to current theories, the universe experienced a brief period of fast expansion, followed by a few hundred million years of cooling that allowed gas to condense and collapse into the first stars and galaxies, a period known as the Dark Ages. According to Dr. Emma Chapman, the discovery of such huge galaxies so soon after the Big Bang raises the possibility that the cosmos experienced star formation much earlier than previously thought and that the Dark Ages may not have been as dark as previously assumed. According to Chapman, additional observations are needed to corroborate the result before outdated models may be abandoned. Saying that, with the pace that JWST has been upturning theories and revolutionizing whole fields, it wouldn't surprise me if it were true, she added. The group intends to get spectrum photos, which can offer more precise distant data and enable better mass estimates. We can easily determine the reality of these objects using a spectrum. If these results are validated, it might alter the way we think about the origin of the universe. However, it might not yet be necessary to reinvent cosmology. Scientists speculate that some of the objects could be hidden supermassive black holes and that what the photographs appear to show as brightness may actually be gas and dust being drawn in by their gravity. That's exciting as well, because there are still many questions regarding the creation of supermassive black holes within galaxies. Actually, little is known about how black holes grow and form in their early stages. There is no conflict between that and cosmology, rather there is new physics to be learned about how they can originate and grow and we simply lack the data in the past. The researchers might capture a spectrum image of the things they've identified to confirm their findings. This would make it easier to determine their age. Our perception of galaxies from the early universe is characterized by a strong redshift or the stretching of the light they emitted during their long journey to Earth. The more the light has been stretched and the older and more away the galaxy is, the higher the redshift value. Scientists could use spectroscopy to ascertain whether their putative galaxies or high redshift candidates are as old as they seem to be or if they are mere intrinsically reddened galaxies from a more recent period. Though scientists have cautioned that they would be exceedingly unfriendly for life as we know it, it is exciting to consider what worlds might exist inside these compact giant galaxies at the edge of observable space and time, regardless of how they evolved. Aside from the fact we probably don't fully understand the various configurations in which life can exist, if we lived within one of these galaxies, we would perish. These galaxies are 30 times smaller than our Milky Way, making them at least 1,000 times denser. This indicates that supernovas in the area would have likely burnt off the atmosphere and rendered us radioactive. There would be both planets and stars that could support them. However, life would be outright threatened by the environment. In other words, these ancient galaxies are complete death traps, even though research into their enigmatic past may shed light on how current galaxies like the Milky Way the only known host of life evolved. To do that, scientists will need to conduct spectroscopy in order to verify that these galaxies are actually as far away as they appear at first inspection and determine whether their light is coming from stars or something more unusual. However, other galaxies in the early cosmos appear to be much better prepared to spark a revolution in physics. A galactic sea monster lurks beyond the local group of galaxies that surrounds our Milky Way, where our map of the universe once fell off a cliff and into the unknown. The strange galaxy NGC 4258 has two extra tentacles extending from its center that are a component of a system that may one day ignite or put an end to a physics revolution. The two oddly shaped arms of NGC 4258 which is 25 million light years away, were first spotted by scientists in 1961. They were inexplicable. 
These arms protruded from the galaxy's disk as opposed to other spiral galaxies' arms, which wound around in the same plane like the coils of a nautilus shell. That was very odd. However, it turns out that the extra arms were just one component of a complex machine that was emerging from the galaxy's center. This structure is currently instructing us on topics ranging from black holes to the expansion of the cosmos. You can discern a slender line of blobs at the galaxy's center if you zoom in close to where the arms start. At a speed of 1,000 kilometers per second, the blobs on our right are rushing towards us. They are moving away from us almost as quickly to our left. They seem to be still in the middle. That makes sense to an astronomer because the line of blobs is actually the edge of a gaseous wheel with a diameter of about half a light year and an orbital axis that is almost perpendicular to our line of sight. Ancient laws are followed by the orbiting wheel. It would be simple enough for Johann Kepler or Isaac Newton to comprehend. As a result, this structure can also serve as a scientific tool to measure more unusual events. An orbiting disk must be circling something. Astronomers were persuaded in the mid-1990s by the galaxy's central wheel that almost every galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center. The blobs must be attached to a mass that is around 40 million times heavier than the Sun and compressed into a very small space in order for them to move at 1,000 kilometers per second on a racetrack that is smaller than a light year in diameter. The only thing suitable is a black hole. The galaxy makes sense once you imagine there is a black hole there. Material orbiting the black hole, like water swirling down the drain, is what's causing the spinning disk. And as the disk fires out jets of erratic particles that spew heated material above and below the galaxy, those errant tentacles may develop. It is not just NGC 4258 that undergoes these activities. Some galaxies may even have flimsy tentacles of their own extending into space, while other galaxies have core disks. However, because NGC 4258 is very close by and is in our line of sight, they appear in stunning detail. As a result, this galaxy may also contain the key to understanding how the universe is expanding a process that is fueled by ordinary particles, mystifying dark matter and an equally mystifying component called dark energy. It is difficult to obtain the accurate cosmic distance measurements needed to study this expansion. Observing the blobs as they circle NGC 4258 can be helpful. By measuring the physical gap between the blobs and the black hole through observations, we may determine how far away this galaxy is from Earth. Then, using trigonometry, we can compare that distance to the angular separation between the objects in the sky. This makes the galaxy an important source of information in the continuing debate between cosmologists and astronomers about the rate at which the universe is expanding. If this disagreement is left unresolved, it may compel a revision of current theories of physics. Not a bad resume for a sea monster galaxy that sports additional tentacles, don't you think? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.